All right, Sedio two times. How's it going? Chilling, dog. You know what I mean? Not much. You got some music videos and all that shit in the works. You know what I mean? You want to see what's good? That's what's up, man. Well, for the people who might not know, man, can you let them know a little bit about you, man? Like, you know, where, where'd where you grow up at? What it was like for you? Shit, right there in Baum Park, you know? Baum Park, California, born and raised right there. Streets, you know, early on. But, you know, we're still thugging it right now. Trying to make it out, you know? In the streets early on, how? what's early? How early? Teens, though. 13, 14, 13. young. Yeah. Okay. I was already out there. My brothers, I had homies, you know. They were like young as me. They were really gangbanging dog. I was a big scrappy. I know him since, since knee high, dog. Man, go way back. You know I mean? Okay. I know. I see you got the crown on you. Yup. You know what I mean? Yep. LA Kings, you know, I, I like the team and shit. Okay. You know what I mean? All right. So, uh, what was Wallen Park like when you were growing up? Same as every other hood, dog. You know, you have some nice parts, but you got the you got the hood parts too. You know, the regulars. If you really, if you, if you, your past not like with your parents, and you're just always outside. That's what it is. I was always just my mom. It was by herself. My dad left when I was like a year or two, but it's just been my mom, and I was just always outside with the homies. You know, the neighbors are outside. Okay, were you in the bad area or the good area? Mm, we're in the, what do you call it? In the in the ghetto part, pretty much, dog. You know. Okay. What's the what's the typical the apartments? The apartments is just all the kids outside, parents inside, dog. You know, just running no muck outside. It's pretty much what it is, you know. Okay. Uh, you know, what are some of your earliest memories? Mm, as it went Bomb Park. Well, I grew up right there in the Delwoods, fool. In the Delwoods and La Rica right there. On Palm Park Boulevard, too. Was that like an apartment yeah. complex? Yeah, low-key, I always lived in apartments. I always been in apartments. I had like, we had like one pad. And that's about it. Other than that, we just been in apartments the whole time, going back to back. Growing up, you know? Okay. Always moving, constantly moving, though. Constantly moving. And so, you know, you jump off the porch, you know, how does your life change once you jump off the porch? Well, to be honest, it's not really much change, dog. I always seen everything that, that surrounded food, like fighting, robbing, all that shit. Even in the door, all, all that was going on just in the little, in, in the little, you go in and there's just apartments on both sides. Then there's a freeway and in the middle of the streets. Like everyone's outside, you know. If you're if you're out there in that time, you would know what I'm talking about. Everyone's always outside. It's regular shit you see today. People still fighting, still doing all that shit. But earlier song when I started actually getting like in trouble, it's probably obviously it started in school. You know, tagging, fighting, shit like that. Till I started kicking it with homies that did more than that. You know. How old were you when you first got arrested? I would say middle school, high school, however old that was. Not really good. But yeah, we're not like high school. For the minor shit though, like fight, fighting and tagging, disturbing the peace or some shit like that, you know? Early on, that's what I, that's what they got me for. Okay. What was high school like for you? Mm, wasn't really a fan of it. Didn't really grab my attention, you know? I would slack off. Although I wish I was, I wish I was getting into the books, you know? But it didn't. It didn't go that way. I didn't pay attention. Got in trouble. Kicked out late to class. Ditching, you know, just to go hang out with the homies. And shit. The school wasn't. School's not for everybody, dog. You know, in my in my view, point of view, just wasn't for me. And I just dipped out. I was always fighting anyway. Like my last, I think I dropped out junior year. They tried to send me to adult school and all that, but I didn't even go. Um, well. I think the I, the last time I went, I only went to like a week or two on my on the last month of the of like junior year where I dropped out. I was going to North Park. I went to every high school, you know. Obviously, like Sierra Vista, Bond Park, North Park is actually a continuation school. But when I got kicked out of those two, and then they sent me to North Park, I got kicked out of there. I'm like, Fuck that, you know, I'm done with school. You don't know, you're done with school. What do you do with yourself at this point? Shit, just to be honest. Do you ever get a job? Do you try to go straight? Yeah, well, obviously I worked at Jack in the Box. 
Like I try to get a job, you know, right after I left. Obviously, I want to go get a job. Yeah, I hate being broke. That's one thing about me, dog. Like I get, I don't know, it's just something about not having, being able to buy something that I want, you know, without having to ask anybody. I don't want to ask nobody. And I just put my ass to work. As soon as I left, as soon as I left high school, I think I was like 17. I was already trying to work. I'm working at a Jack in the Box right there on Francisquito on Palm Park Boulevard for like two years. Then after that, I just been warehousing, but still, you know, outside and shit. Okay. And uh, do you try to go to college or do you ever graduate or anything? No. Nah. No. Nah. Shout out to the homies that did go to college, finish school. At what point do you start rapping? Mm, probably a few years back, like four, five, nah, yeah, like three, four. But I had, I was always freestyling though, you know? But when I actually first recorded something, I was in a little ass room, low key. It was smaller than like a uh, like little Momo, you know, like a Momo shit. It was like that, smaller than that size room. And it was me, the homie Doubter, shout out to homie Doubter, and some other food we would just, we would be kicking it with, you know, and it was a small little room. Uh, some one food we used to kick with, he, he had a like microphone like that, you know, and he would pull up like a little trap room, because this time I was already in the street. Like, I didn't stay with my mom or nothing. You know, I left early on from her there, you know? I didn't stay with my mom no more, so I was, tra I was staying in like this little trap room with some, with some food I went to go to, I used to go to school with. And then from right there, he'll pull up right there. And they, were, they would make music and shit, and they told me to do it. And, you know, I did, it was called Cocaine Drip. We did, that was the first song I ever recorded. It's on Land Beast TV. And right now I think it's like, a, Three, if I'm not mistaken, it's like 300,000 views or 600,000 around there. But that was the first video I ever did too. And the cameraman, those fools were like, they didn't even do videos. They just shot um, or took pictures of cars, like at the racing cars, like at car shows. And they're like, we want to do a music video. We want to try to do a music video. So we're like, Fit. we're trying to rap, you know, we're trying to make a video too. So we linked up at Avenue 26, somewhere in LA. And then from there, they recorded it. We did it in West Covina at, at the home meet. The Sheik's pad in the backyard. And yeah, we shot it up to Land Beach. That's when they were barely coming up too. So we kind of like, you know, they had a few subscribers on YouTube. We didn't have no attention, you know. We put it on there and then Cocaine Drip did what it did. I didn't think it was going to do that much, but 300,000. If you look it up, how much it is, like 300,000, 600,000 views. And I was like, from there, I got traction. But I fucked up because when every time I had traction, it went up, went down, went up and down, you know. So this time with Tommy Lefty, shout out Tommy Lefty, you know, opening doors for all the homies and shit. Fools can hit on them if they want, but I feel doing his thing, you know. But with that, I'm gonna try to keep that shit going now, you know. Yeah, Lefty's uh, had a huge impact recently. Oh, well, 400. Last couple times. months, he's been just killing it. Hell yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Fools be hating on them all, all they want, do all those videos all they want, but you know, can't hate on success, fools. I don't see many people hating on him. You don't? No, no, maybe Shit. I missed it. Nah, it's you know good, what? Man. I did see somebody talk about it, but I didn't. I didn't quite see it. There was some older dude. I yeah. Okay, I just okay. They're now all, that I all old. I seen. I seen one older dude that was talking shit. Uh, he got the tattoo on his chin. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, I heard. I, you know, I heard that. F I seen a video of a of a of that fool talking shit, and then right after he said that. There was a video of the same fool talking shit, twerking on the wall, fool. <laughs> Serio, I swear to God. I'm like, what? Like, this is the fool, you know? But yeah, I heard that fool was twerking on the wall. I seen the video, I was like, what the? F and I was just scrolling through my reels, and that shit popped up. I was tripping out. Uh, damn, okay. But, uh, so what are some, what, what can you, you know, what do you think was like your most wild situation growing up in Baldwin Park? Mm -hmm. Probably low key when I was drink. I don't drink no more, but I was right there posted um, on La Rica where I used to stay at on some apartments. It's not the craziest shit, but one of the shit that changed me for sure was I was just chilling. My little brother, he was down the street. It was at Morgan Park. He was down the street. He was chilling with his homie, and then he called me like, "Hey, I just seen these fools right here. You know, like they're they're right there at the park." And I where I was at is literally is a Walgreens. All right, there's a street right. My apartments are on this side. Picture this, it's my apartment right here. Across the street, there's a Walgreens, right? 
your Walgreens, you just cross the street. There's like a little plaza and there's a park, Morgan Parks right there. So it's not, it's not really that far as walking distance. So when he told me that, I was like, I ain't tripping, you know? So I was right there with some fool that I, was, yeah, I used to kick with. I thought the fool was like the homie and shit, fool Chafa. But um, the fool, when, as soon as he told me I hung up, boom, I was drinking, I didn't care, dog. I was burning out on the street. I bought my first little whip with that Jack in the Box job. Got a little Civic. I was burning out right there, you know, all drunk. And um, right when I sat down on the on the on the little brick wall right there, and I see these fools pull up, the ones my brother was talking about, and they pull up, and, and I was like, you know, flag them down, whatever. The fools they went like this, like come down the street, for that fella do right here. And when he did that, fool pull up, whatever, I hit one, and then when I hit him, he dug down, and then when I touched him again, that fool got me like three times right here on the side, dug me. And I didn't feel it. My brother, my brother um, was right there. And he looked up, my other brother. He looked up and he told me, hey, you just got stabbed. And I pick up my shirt and I like this and I start leaking. I'm like, what the f And as soon as I look up, his fool that, well, his homie that he was with, fool guy, I don't know if it was, it was like a big ass ratchet or a, or a crowbar. Who just decked me on the forehead right here, though. Split my whole shit, boom. She just flapped me. Next, I didn't knock out or nothing because I was drunk, you know, so my I was my adrenaline was going. And as soon as that happened, my neighbor, my neighbor Negro came out, shout out to Negro. I don't know where he's at right now because ever since I moved there, I haven't seen him. But fool came out, boom, boom. Long story short, the hoodas came. I didn't want my mom to see. So I, I ran down the street. These fools already dipped. I ran in the street and then um, I see two fools on bikes, same color shirt, black, you know, whatever. I run up to him, boom, grab the handlebar, like, boom, I try to sock one, my brother, it's not them, it's not them. And um, I knock out, I knock out on the on the side of St. John's, on the curb right there, boom, I just pass out, who does sh They um After that, I don't remember, but I just remember waking up in the hospital and shit, scrubbing my head, I guess they numbed it or scrubbing my shit, making sure it was clean. And then all, while all that shit was happening, I ended up uh, missing the birth of my kid because of that. So that's why it changed me short, you know? So I ended up, my, my daughter was supposed to be born, but I guess she came early because of that whole incident. But yeah. Oh, but I missed your baby mom out. Huh? Yeah, you but I your baby mom out, you mean? And it made the baby come early? Mm, yeah. Oh. But yeah, I missed the birth of my kid because of that. So that's the that changed, you know? But other than that, everything else after that is just. It comes with it, fool, you know? Yeah. It comes with all that shit. Damn. But that's the one I took personal. For sure. Yeah, I hear that, man. Um, okay, so this happens. What's the recovery like? Um, I had to learn how to walk, for sure, like, too. Because I had, like, blood in my brain or some shit. I don't know what else it was, but I did, I did have to, like, have my sister and the nurse, like, help me, you know? Oh, shit. I was lightheaded for a cool minute, you know what I mean? But I ain't gonna lie, after, when I, as soon as I got out, I saw the baby. After I left, the, after I left from seeing the baby, I went straight to the, where I was at, you know, posted up right there. And sure enough, the, there's, there's a car that pulls up, you know, yelling, whatever. And I was like, man, you feel I was like that. I had a, I look like, you ever seen that, what's that movie? Belly or whatever, or not belly. Well, that's where the landed on his head. Paid in full? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When well, that yeah. fool had that bandage on his head, yeah, that's how I looked. I had that right here on the scar right here. I had that bandage on my head. I was still standing right there on the same spot where they caught me at. You know, my brother came out again. I was I was ready for that fool straight up. I was right there. I knew what I was doing. Well, yeah, I was right there. But I didn't even do nothing. They didn't hop out or nothing. They just, they just passed by and threw whatever out the window, like threw this little thing out the window and took off. That's it. I still, we, me and my brother stood there the whole time. You, you know, you mentioned Lefty, so... Uh, Lefty was gone for like nine years and he just got out not too long ago. So how did you guys meet and You know, was he a rapper when you met him? No, nah, but I do remember seeing that for Instagram like wouldn't like um, He always had bitches fool, all the time Even before the rap that fool would have them record him and, and in the back of the car like he was in the back seat in the back of the car or whatever, you know that fool one thing I always remember, fool, that shit he said right now, it was like, it's my name's fucking Lefty Loco, Lefty Loco. That's all I would hear, though, fool. Literally. But I remember that fool, um, before he was rapping, right? He was freestyling. 
Okay. And how'd you guys meet? I met the first time I met him. It was at it was at the homies pad. We had like a little get together, and if we pulled up, that was the first time I met him though. It was cool, you know. It was genuine. Shit. I introduced myself, like you know, I'm right here. I'm from here, and it was cool after that. I ain't true. Right, because you would have. He was in jail. Probably. Mm-hmm. Probably I never met. Him. I never met. I heard of him, and the, and the homies mentioned his name, and they said, yeah, he was a nut when he was like this, like that, you know. And I was like. I was like, cool, like, I want to meet this fool. Obviously, I'm going to meet him one day. And then it just happened to be when we, when the homies all got together and he was there. And I met, and I met him right there. And um, what's it called? He was cool. He was cool. He, he's like, all these, you know what I'm saying? These people don't, they judge him though, shit, you know? But they don't, they don't know him like that. But I feel like he's cool. As, he's funny as, for sure. I feel he's funny. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, he was, he was. When I'm when I when we did the interview, yeah, he was. <laughs> oh yeah, he yeah, did. He was going off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. That was a fool. Uh, <laughs> that's my that's my homie right there. And I think uh, are you working on any record label situations or anything? Right now, well, to be honest, since he's doing his thing, dog, he did open a, he did open doors for us. Like I said, you know, he was opening doors for us. I got a mixtape with the homie Cash. Shout out Cash. I got I got some working with him. I got my own thing I'm working on. I think I'm doing like five tracks on there. I got four already. I'm trying to get some features on there. I'm gonna get Lefty on there for sure. I got Cash on there for sure. What else I got on there? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the homie Grizzly on there from the set. I'm gonna get him here. I'm gonna try to get a little weirdo on there. Cause I'm not full hard. Yeah, I met that fool too. That, that that fool's funny too. That fool's cool. I met a gang of. I, the fool that I listened to, like, I met them. I'm I met them or I came around them before, but I didn't really get to them like now since. Left, like left is doing his thing, like like I said, he he gets his end up with him, you know. And I meet these for for the cool. That's what's up. Yeah, I got. I remember, um, you know, the icon, LA icon. That's the homie right there too. That fool shot my video, uh, on the low right there on Palm. That was my first million views right there, and all all real views too, and not no fake views. That fool recorded on there. I hit a million views right there. What video is this? On the low. Oh, shit. Yup. I'm saying I got numbers, dog, you know? I got my, that's my first million. Then I got the homie Nums. Shout out to homie Nums, the low. No, me Doubter. We got us, us three together. We got f- millions of views together, dog. Straight up. Land Beast. All right, look that up. You found it on there? Yup. Damn. Yeah. Three years ago. Okay. On the game, I'm telling you. So it was 187. Ain't straight no capping my shit, on. Straight up. That's what's up. I was saying, I've been doing this shit. Like, I, I got traction and I lost it a couple of times, but I'm going to grip on this shit this time for me. So you been doing it. Come on, fool. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. Yeah, nah, shit. <laughs> shit, man. Hell <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. That's why I tell you, I, I've, been around these, I've been around a couple of these fools, you know, like Cheeto, I knew Cheeto. And what's that fool's name? 50? 50 something. That's 50 Blue? Fool. Yeah, that name. But. He's cool, I guess. I met a couple, but I, I remember what Icon for. I remember Icon would shoot the homie videos, and I would I would go to the, some other guy to do the videos, and he could tell you too if he if he if he said he didn't, that fool's lying. That fool he would be like, hey, when you gonna why can't I shoot one of your videos? Or why why don't you let me shoot one of your videos? I was like I don't know, dog. You know, like for, I don't know. I just went to this fool. So when we when we finally got together, dog. All right, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this one. And the reason I fuck with him is because he listened to the ideas that I had for the video, you know? And, f- and that's why we work good together. And that's when we did that video. That's that's the first video I did with him, too. So that shit went up. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. You know? That's what's up. I, did my, I, I had my little, my little running around and shit, you know? Yeah, I kind of been doing this thing for a while. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's just, he shot a video, a music video for me. For you? Yeah, over like, over 10 years ago, I want to say. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, he'd been around for sure. Around like 2012. Yeah, I remember that fool. I met him like when he was doing that uh, brown side for Toker, and, and he was rapping over there with them too. Yeah, I remember. I would go over there with brown side too. I'll kick with brown side. You know, Travi and shit. I never really kicked with Little Danger. I never. I think I seen them. They did a concert right there at their store. Where is on Maple? They did a little um thing right there. I got on there too with with the homie Doubter. Yeah, but I would I would kick with them over there. Um, Evelyn G, Travi G. Well, Icon, and their their people, you know. Damn. 
Yup. Been around Bozo. Yeah, I'm a little way. Bozo, yeah. I interviewed him a couple times. Yeah, I seen that one. Yeah. Say, I see you too. You know what okay. I see yours. I was I used to watch the no jumper shit and then I seen Adam acting funny but doing all that uh little clout thing with Lefty. But I, I know they're just playing around, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I see your shit too. You know what I mean? That's what's up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Damn, I've been I've been doing that. I interviewed a lot of dudes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't even know if you know. Yeah, I, I interviewed Little Weirdo. Look, you I did? Yeah. I don't think I seen that one. I interviewed him. I mean, I interviewed King Little G. Shit, back when he first started. Yeah, I gotta I mean, check shit. it out. I interviewed a lot of dudes, man. Uh, yeah. Well, but I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna get that that hood vlog popping right there in the city too. I'm gonna try to get that in today too. I'm gonna get the homies in there. The homie Rascal right here. I got my. I got my dog right here. My hitter. Yep. That's what's up, man. Hell yeah. You got some good shit going, man. Watch right, so when I drop it. When I drop this, uh, the mixtape, I'm gonna drop it with all videos. I'm gonna call it "Welcome to the Land." I already got the cover and everything. You know what I mean? I'm a. That shit's gonna be a banger though. I got some tracks, different. Shit. Not like people think it's all gang banging. Shit, you know, it's gang banging is versatile. Shit, you know. Yeah. You gotta keep it. Gotta keep it different. Different styles. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what's shout up. Out. I'm gonna try to put it through OTR. I'm already talking to you know that. When we shout Solis from OTR and all that, all the team over there. With me right now, you know, <laughs> cause Loki, I've, I've been doing interviews before, dog. I've done interviews before, but they'd be like, it's not like this, though. You know what I mean? Now, with a bigger platform, they just been like, homie shit. Shout yeah. out to at the FKMs, at the FKMs. Did what you? Up? Yeah, right then. I went all the way to Spiro. I got down. All right, I was kicking it. I was in Pomona. I was kicking it in Pomona uh, with the homie Nina Boy and all them over there, you know. I was kicking over there. We were drinking. For when I tell you I don't drink no more, it's for a reason. And I was right there. I was drinking this shit with some homies. There was two, you know, the Henny balls, right? But the big ass, they're like a hundred dollars or something. There was two of them right there. For I was chugging that, and whatever. I blacked out. I ended up taking shit from a liquor store, and I woke up with like shots, like the dollar shots, or whatever. I woke up for like two, three days. You know, I was up for like two, three days. Um, FKM invited me. How you doing? Um, he invited me over to do an interview because I was I was gonna release that video with Icon. So what I was gonna go, I'm gonna just how, how you say it? Um, what's that word, dog? Promote it. There okay. you go. Promote it. So I wanna go do that. In Nueve from um, from Paris Maravilla. Fool pulled up. That fool's on me right there. Said what's up. He came with some fool that did some janky shit, and he was pillow talking. Oh, sh and I don't know what the f this fool had to do with me. And he tried to shake my hand or whatever. And I looked at him and I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you for, you know, after whatever. And long story short, I told the fool, go to the side. We go over there. I told him, don't make a scene. I guess it's the homie's pad. I'm doing, you know, don't make a scene. Just go to the cut, fool, you know. He starts taking off his shirt. Fool takes his whatever he had in his waistband, little blower, puts it on his chair like this guy. So I was already hunk over. We go to the cut, we start getting down. I was hunk over with my adrenaline, I'm telling you my adrenaline went over, boom. Got that issue out the way. Right when I was done, my adrenaline went away. I had noodle legs, boom. Straight up, I had noodle legs. I had to sit down before I fall over. But what was it? it was that fool, that fool Tunes. I don't know if you ever heard of that fool. What was his name, Tunes 180? Remember that fool, the scary ass fool? The so homie right now? Okay, I know that, 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 fool, that fool pulled up on my, my home. I yeah. pulled up on a fool, told him what's up, and he was all scared. We went crying to the homies. Like, <laughs> straight up. You know what I, mean? I beat that fool up, though. But anyway, I ain't trying to give that fool no, no fame or nothing, you know? But uh, what else? We did a, I think it was a, this is for my dogs. There was a music video that Land Beast was doing right there. Swifty Blue was right there. Cheeto Ron was right there. That was before they fall out or whatever. There was a fight right there too. Can't say who it was, but there was a fight right there. She was pretty active. And, um, what else? I don't know. There's a lot of food located. I've been, we've been through a lot of shit. Goes a lot of where I, I have to like sit and think like, damn, like, you know, like the memories, because they all, they come fast. But we've been through some shit. What else is there? 
I mean, I ask questions for I know. How many, how many times did you meet Chito? Uh, I met him at the at that studio. I mean, at that video shoot with the Switch to Blue. This is for my dogs. He he wasn't even in it, but he was just there. And I met that for right there. I told him like, I went up to him, like my brother and like, well, we put your music. And then from there, he gave me his number. And then I was doing I was doing some shit or whatever. And then I, I came across some things and I told him like, hey, whatever you need, fool, you know. He ended up liking something. So boom, shot me his address and I shipped it to him full of FaceTime and shit. Well, we talked before and then he got busted. Yeah, still keeping the contact here and there. But after that, that fool just got busted, you know. And that shit, I haven't really... I haven't reached out or nothing, but I feel doing it too, you know? Same OTR as, as the homie left him. Hopefully they get that collab in, you know? What else? What happened with Swifty Blue? I don't know. I don't know what that guy. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I heard some shit, I like, but I'm not going to speak on it if I don't, I don't know for sure, you know? Yeah. But I never, like, when I met that fool, he was cool, but I feel like, for some reason, I just never, like, he didn't run me the, the right way, fool, for some reason. Because the homie Dowder, I'm telling you, when we're doing the music shit, he 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 put him on the Grammy record with him, fool. He put the homie Dowder, the homie Dowder Logs, he put on Grammy record. And, um, I don't know. I just felt like he put the homie on the shelf, dog, you know? Like, the homie was doing his shit. I forgot bars and everything. And, like, I would tell that fool, too, dog. I'd be like, hey, tell the fool to put you out there or some shit. I don't know. He always moved. To me, maybe because I, I don't know him or whatever, but. When I see shit, you know, uh, that I don't like, I just keep my keep my distance, you know? But that fool's doing his thing, you know, I guess. Well, uh, what do you think about SPM getting out of jail soon? I used to bump that fool before, I ain't gonna lie. But, you know, what's right is right, what's wrong is wrong is what I go by. And if it's on, if it, if, if the, it's on, on the, you know what I mean? On the paper or whatever, then he could still move how he moves, do music, make his money and shit. But as far as me, I wouldn't pay none of my money, none, so I could really care less what he does, you know. But I ain't gonna lie and sit here and say I never bumped it before, cause I did, you know. But like I said, was right, was right, was wrong, was wrong. Yeah, I always trip out on how many people still with him. Straight like, up. And, he, and he got people, they, they hardcore, like. They be like, this should be crazy to me. Like, that, that's why I say, now, like me, I pick up Gletcha from the from the older homies, dog. You know, and it's that's some shit. That's why it shit is how it is today. Fools don't have that, you know. Fools don't have these 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 righteous older homies to let them know the game. Fool, like let them know what's up. And I'm shit. I'm thankful I still have that, dog. Straight up. Yeah. And they That's why the homie Darky shout out to homie Darky Grim. I got straps, you know. Who give me Kletcha, dog. And that's why I go by what I go, what I told you was right is right, was wrong is wrong. If you if you follow it, the book the right way, well, nothing can happen to you, dog. Because at the end of the day, if they try to do it dirty, what was done in the dark is gonna come to light, type shit, you know. But yeah, as far as his, if people support him, people are gonna support him. Not gonna be like, hey, don't go support that fool, you know. They want to bump that fool shit, bump it. Who'd you grow up listening to? Hmm. A lot of like that West Coast shit, like, cause that's pretty much all there was. I, me, I never really listened to that like, hardcore Sudanio shit or hardcore high power type shit, you know? But I listen to rap all the time, like Easy e Snoop Dogg, Biggie. I like Biggie more than Tupac, but I fuck with Tupac too, you know? I don't really listen to his music like that, but I know some of his songs. Biggie though, I, love, I bump a lot of Biggie. Now I bump a lot of like Big Scar, what else? Young Dolph, Key Glock, I bump Lefty, you know, shout out to me. But I, yeah, I, li I grew up listening to the, all that old school, sh you know, all that old school rap. I did grow up listening to corridos because, you know, obviously in the household people would drink while Mexican dog, partying all night type shit. I'll be sleeping in somebody else's room, parents still partying, or well, my mom, family. Sh but yeah, corridos. Like Chalino, Ramon Ayala, but mostly like that old school rap shit, you know, oldies. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? 
Well, you got yeah. a lot coming up, man. Yeah. Looking it's just the beginning, fool. Straight up. It's the beginning. You yeah. Know? The doors getting knocked down. Shit. I'm, I ain't going to stop. I'm hungry now. You know, I'm hungry again. Type of shit, you know. Straight yeah. up. But no, all these eyes on the on the city right now too is the best time, you know, straight up. Yeah, uh, Roddy Rax too, right? Roddy, he's from La Puente. Oh, he's from La Puente. Yeah, okay. But it's literally it's not that far from us. I, yeah, I know a lot of his younger homies, dog, from Ballista, You know, I know a lot of them fools. Yeah. Okay. That's what I, I used. That's uh, when I was in Pomona. That's what I was drinking with too. They, they were right there too. Right there, drinking the Henny bottles and shit, chicken. Yeah. You know? Well, that's what's up, man. Well, shit, man. Uh, I got music with with Roddy Rex's cut, uh, Lil Primo, Dom, Dom from LP. I had music with that fool. I just, I don't. I met Roddy even before he was signed. I think it was right then the same the same backyard where I where I recorded um the cocaine drip the first video. The same backyard is where I met Roddy Rex. The before he was signed to Ape Town or AK, and um before he started like. All that shit. He will always freestyle though. He, all those dance, those dance movements that he does, he always liked that. When I first first met him, he was the same way, dog. I, I think he had like a white shirt. I still remember all the. I still remember the whole day. Fool, fool was always doing his dances, all the time. He was freestyling. Well, met that fool early on. Who else? Yeah, that's what's up. Who who else? Who else is in the? What's in the game, man? Uh... I don't know. Well, you said you interviewed with uh, FKM. Yeah, FKM. That's crazy. How long ago did you do that? Well, I did. I did his. I did his his shit a couple times, Loki. Yeah. yeah. I remember. I once. I won one by myself. Then I went like two times with the homie Doubter. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that fool's the homie. He's cool. Him and his brother Stony. Yeah, that fool's a cool cat right there. That fool tried to put me on like how to monetize my, you know, and give me game like that industry wise, you know. Was cool. His podcast cool too. That fool got me faded. This one time I went. That's why low key is cool that I didn't, I didn't smoke right here outside before any because I would have been stuck. But I remember one time, literally the homie Doubter had to talk the whole time because he had like sponsors that had weed right there, and I was like right, chiefing the whole time and I I was faded. He would talk to me and I'd just be blank. Fool. <laughs> he was like, "What's wrong with the fool? Give him like a give him a line or something, you know?" I was right there faded. As, but yeah, that fool the homie. He's cool. I met him when I think it was in Colton. That fool was doing a music video with that fool Cujo, and I went over there. I always used to network like that. I'll pull up to people, like, to, not, not obviously just pull up, but I'll get invited and I'll pull up, show face type shit. So that's how I would network on my own, you know? And I still got some of those connections to this day. Like Land Beast, those fools put me heavy. And their platform grew up too, you know? That shit blew up. That fool right there with, um, what was that? The heavyweight champ, what's his name? Andy, Andy Reeves, or oh yeah, yeah, yeah that fool doing his thing with him, dog, and he still shows love. That fool's cool cat, you know. What do they do? What do they got going? Uh, that fool, he's he's his whole camera crew is down. Like that oh, fool really? be recording all his uh promo fight videos, all that shit you see of him. They're doing that. They're they're doing that for, with him, and they're still running their their music platform on YouTube. Those shit, those fools have like hundred thousands of subscribers already. When I first was with them, they had like eleven, like. Less than twenty thousand for sure. Yeah. Now they're like hundreds of thousands and shit. And they spoke with me. That's cool, you know. Like they didn't let shit change them, you know. I'll tell you a story. Dog. When I first got when I first got tatted, my mom my mom put me in a in my room. Well, not my room, but in the room where we had. She was like, next time you get a tattoo, you forget forget you have a mom. I dipped out, and you know what? All my oh, I'll tell you. When I dipped out, I came back with more tattoos. And I started filling up my. Own yeah, I don't know if you if you know that for Nary tattoos, that fool tattered up like Kodak Black, Trippy Red, and all these Peso Pluma and all the famous fools, dog. Like he blew up, dog. He he was right there. He's from Baldwin Park too. You know, I know he's in like LA now and shit, but he was right there on Los Angeles Street. You know, I was going to his backyard. He did all these shits. Fool, this one, this one, uh, this one. I had like five homies with iPhone like flashlights in the dark. That fool blew up too. He, he he's getting his money, but yeah, he did all these shits right there in the backyard. And every time I leave my, my right there, those apartments where I got stabbed at and in my head, every time I leave that, I'll go to his pad. I'll be his canvas, who he'll tell people in, the, in in school, like, let me tattoo up. And they'll be like, nah. And I'll be like, do it on me. But if you fuck up, fool, like, you know, you know what time it is, dog. But nah, he, he shot his shit. Mm -hmm. Then I got started talking by the homie Straps. Shout out to homie Straps, cold hearted, you know, this is his brand right here. 
how to rock that shit for the interview, you know. But yeah, my mom was all mad for me. Then I got my face tatted. My face tag got what else? She wasn't happy about that. What'd she say? What do you got over here on the cheek? Is that a K? It was a K. Okay. Yup. Now I see when I got because I got this one and this one at the same time. So when I when I went, um, I pretty had I pretty much I could hide this one in my hat. You know what I mean? So every time when I when I went to my brother's pad and she was right there, I pretty much kept it on this side. You know what I mean? Like so she won't see this side. But she ended up seeing it. She went inside and she told my sister. She played it off though, like she didn't see it. My mom, you know. My sister got on my ass too. She was like, like, why did you get your face tatted? She's over here crying inside. No, said yo. Damn. Yeah. I love my mom though. She's not my mom. My daughter too. She's not my daughter. Jules. But I've been getting tatted since a month, since young, like 16. First one I got was my mom's name. You got your whole body tatted? Nah, not my whole body. Not yet. I got my stomach, my arms, my head. My, got my leg right here. I got a couple. You know what I mean? My stomach's not finished yet. The homie baby since lagging on it. I've been telling his ass. But yeah, I'm going to get that shit filled. You got my stomach only. You know. That's what's up. I like your B-hat, though. Seen that shit as soon as I got shit brand new or what? It's pretty new, yeah. That's right. <laughs> nah, but yeah. What else? What else, fool? What you talking about? Make this shit interesting, though. Not on left. It's different for lefty gunplay. Getting an interview, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. I think I asked him like two questions. And that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just. I'm just Hell kidding, yeah. yeah nah. nah, hey, fool. Tell you, uh, we, we got. We had that fool. The homie Grim brought that fool to the pad. That fool was there for like two days, fool. That fool had his laughing nonstop, fool. I'm telling you. That fool was outside. That fool was outside. And um, this car kept passing by. You know, we're like, who the fuck is this? You know? Turned out to be some high nose. Fans, I knew it was you, and they hopped out for there with no fucking shirt in his jacket. And, like, all right, fool. and there's all of us sitting down, all homies, right? It's all homies in the living room. This fool gets up, pulls his shit out of his pocket like Fetty and shit. Next fool pulls out like three pills, rhino pills. Like, fool, put that shit back. Popping out rhino pills with all the homies right here. You know what I mean? Good guy. Fool's funny though. That fool's a fool. Hey, but hey, in, the in, in the studio, in the booth, I, I was telling you on the way over here, fool, the way he talks to you, fool, is fucking hilarious. Because this fool always had females, dog. And this fool be on there, like, she'll be in the booth, like, bugging, like, get the fuck out the booth. Leave me alone. Like, get out of here. Like, and they, it's funny because they let him talk to her, like, shit. Was, all the homies just be right there laughing at them. Fool, it's funny. Straight up. If they had, uh, what was it? It was, like, two, two hyenas pretty much wanted to choose. He, he was choosing between two hyenas. And then this fool was like, uh, what, what did she say, man? She was like, okay, just take both of us. Like, these bitches have no morals, no respect type shit. And it's, 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 but it's funny, though, because it's like, damn, these bitches do whatever for some fatty or some clout type shit, you know? It's just funny. That fool's a maniaco. <laughs> that fool's a maniaco for sure. Hell yeah. And what else? I don't know, fool. To be honest, I've been... I've. I couldn't really do much when I went to the album release. There was a gang of fools right there, you know? It was packed. This shit was hot in there. I was mad because I couldn't fucking walk because of my, sh my knee. And, like, I just wanted to... I was looking for somebody, but... Chess fool didn't go. Um, but, yeah. It's frustrating with this knee, though. Can't really move like how I want. Yeah. yeah that's fine. Can you talk about what happened? I was at, I was at work, and I... I seen, I seen something that, I don't know. I just jumped the wall, a couple walls, on my knee, dog. Damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? I on my knee. But shit, I was still moving around, still going everywhere, still doing interviews and shows, like show ups and shit, like well, for the homie. If we has a show, Amanda would pull up. I don't know if I'm how I am, you know? Straight up, we still pull up. Luckily for like, thankfully, it hasn't been nothing hectic. You know what I mean? It's been it's been smooth, like these shows and shit. Cause when well, we're ready, regardless, you know. But yeah, it's thankfully everything like all our shows are cool. You know, I'd be tripping out too for that. For, like all these 
people like really cool with them like that, you know, like like the crowds. It's crazy. This is dope to see. Is what I'm saying, you know, that shit's dope to see. Yeah, it happened fast too. Hell, like, but see, like it, the shit how it affected him, like how it's affecting him. This shit's also affecting the hood for like. It's I don't know. It's for the good though, you know. It's dope. Yeah. But yeah, for the leg, yeah. I was at work, dog. I dipped from work and I, yeah, I cut, jumped a couple walls. My shit up. Just for fun, I guess I was jumping. <laughs> <laughs> nah. right. Hey, but that fool's fucking lame, fool. Straight up in the city, it's hot right now. I'm not gonna. What's it, fool? Do what it's for. They have a hard on for us right now. All the police and all that shit. Yeah, ever since ever since you started blowing up, like I say, the benefits like the good way, but at the same time, if it was just harassing, like a, you know. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah they have a hard on for us right now. Well, they they were raiding homies' pads, dog. They were raiding homies' pads, and they're these hating ass fools. Like, oh, you know why we're doing it, right? Like, oh, cause it, cause it, they're saying cause it was me, cause I was being a dick to them. They're like, oh, cause your homie said you. This is why it's happening. And then they they pull you over, they know what they're doing, dog. In the f- where they pull you over and all that shit, they sit you on the curb, and they f- they bump they bump left the shit all the way, dog. With all the doors open, they bump it all the way, fool. So all the cars see you, they hear you, boom. It can, you know you never know who's in those cars, dog. And they have you there for a cool ass minute, and just having you sit down, not doing shit, just wasting time, bumping bumping their music, having all the cars just watch you passing by. Not giving, you know, but uh, there's a lot of harassment with them fools. I remember they they got me like how many times in one week? Every every day, every day they fucking gave me, they they try to find something so bad that they gave me a they gave me a ticket for for not I guess not stopping fully behind the stop sign line like the line of the stop sign I wasn't behind it type of shit all because. The hood's getting it. Well, I mean, the, the hood's been had attention, dog. Straight up, you know, like if you know, you know. But now with with the shit, the music shit, all that shit going on, and yeah, the fools, the fools are hating right now. All yeah. of them. Yeah, they do that. All of them. Yeah, I, I hear about that a lot. Yeah. When rappers blow up or Literally. they start doing their thing, and you know what I'm saying? The police just they be all up in their hood, just. Oh, extra out. They 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 go as far as um, they they don't allow uh nothing like sport like king related sports. The homies brand like they ban everything from walking into the schools. Like you can't have nothing of that on. Get confiscated. Oh, in the schools. Yeah. Like that's how that's how bad that they're trying to stop or from the homies growing. You know, straight up. Like even with the with the homies dressing his clothing brand. Like how are you gonna. Like band stuff is is for everybody, you know. It's not it's not game related or nothing. It's just clothes, you know. It's apparel and shit. But they go as far as trying to buy. They they did ban from all schools. Damn. In the city, yeah. Tell you fool. Just they hate. Yeah. They hate you fool. I hear that. No. Well, all right, man. Um. Man, I, I appreciate you taking the time. Oh yeah, I appreciate you having me. Dope interview, dope I, stories. I, I I remember I hit you up back in what was it, 2021? Yeah. Yeah, 2020. You're like keep doing your shit. You're, you know, you never know. But this is just the beginning. Fool, I might come back when I really, you know, when yeah. I when I when this shit gets popping for me, I'm gonna come back and I'll be like, remember you, you when you got me before this shit popped off? Fool, and I'm looking. I'm gonna have a say, shit, make back like the homie and shit right here, part for straight up on the game. That'll work. You know I mean? But, Looking forward to it, man. Oh yeah, I appreciate you having me, though. Sure, sure appreciate you, man. All right, What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.